Hi, this is Everett, Everett's Watercolors, welcome to my classroom. Now today we're going to have some fun. Uh, I've decided we're going to do a pizza pie, and I'm going to start out with uh, a piece of old uh, watercolor paper I've cut into a stencil shape. I'll show you how I use that. And then I'm going to spray the colors on with uh, my palette in a bottle, dot sprayer, and fine mist sprayers. And I'm looking forward to doing this, it'll be a lot of fun. So let's go to my painting table and let's get started. Uh, this is the photo reference uh, I'm using for my pizza pie demonstration today. And this is a spare piece of uh, watercolor paper that I've used before, used the back side just for a stencil. And then I drew the outline of the shape of the pizza pie with a pencil, the outline shape. Then I took an X-Acto knife and I cut around that drawing to give me an outline. And there's the outline of the shape. And I'll put that outline on my drawing pad. Uh, this is 140 pound watercolor paper on my watercolor pad. I put the outline in place and where I want to put it. And I'm going to select some colors here to put on here. This is a permanent yellow lemon. I'll start with the lightest color in the dot spray bottle, my palette in the bottle. And the application is a very light tap to spread out the color on the dot spray. Gives me a nice little pattern of color. Then I'm going to use the uh, dot spray with just water. Now adding water to that paint will make it spread out and uh, cover the paper much easier. Give a little flow to the color. The next color is permanent yellow orange in a dot spray bottle. And we're going to add that to the on top of the yellow. Uh, give it a little cheese flavor, a little cheese color on the pizza. And then a fine mist sprayer, I have yellow ochre. Now the application here, I'll hold it back a little ways from, about six inches away from where I want it to go. And then I press down and it gets a nice fine mist. This is a nice background color for that pizza pie. Now I'm going to sit there and let that uh, dry. Now I'm going to put the stencil back on the shape and I'm going to I drew out the uh, inner circle there which would define the crust of the pizza pie. And then I cut around with an X-Acto knife and I can remove that piece of the stencil that defines the crust. Now I'm going to choose uh, the color burnt sienna in the dot spray bottle. Well, before I get started though, I think I'm going to change this and put the uh, fine mist sprayer top on. Well, let me show you how I do that. I take off the uh, dot spray cap on the dot sprayer, then take the fine mist bottle take off its tap, put it in a bucket of water, I'll bring the bucket of water over and then I take it, the, the fine mist sprayer topper and I clean it out by spraying it in the water bucket to clean it out. Now once it's clean then I put that top back on the dot sprayer with the, with the burnt sienna. Now all, 
all fine mist uh, sprayer tops won't fit this dot spray bottle. So I recommend when you order the dot spray bottle that you order the fine mist sprayer so you can exchange the tops. That will come in very handy for changing the colors from a dot spray to a fine mist spray. Now holding a fine mist sprayer back about six inches away, you're going to spray that outer edge to define the darker crust area. It gives it a nice effect. Now lift up the uh, stencil and take a look at the results. You can see there I have a nice dark crust on the pizza. Now I'll put the stencil back in place and let that dry. Now the part of the, uh, the piece that's sticking out there, the one that's been cut and moved aside, what I'm going to do is put the uh, burnt sienna there, but uh, first of all I cut off a, a section of the stencil, which defines that edge of that little piece, cut piece, and make sure I line up the stencil properly by checking the positioning, getting the stencil in place. Then with the fine mist bottle, with the burnt sienna, I'll spray that little section there. Now take the, uh, the stencil paper again uh, and draw in some circles to represent the uh, pepperoni on the pizza. And I cut those out with an X-Acto knife. And I've got several shapes there. I've got a circular shape. I've got a half a shape for some of the pieces. And another smaller piece to put on the pizza top. And I'll use that stencil to create those shapes. Here's a little tip here on the stencil that I've cut out here. What I've done is I've uh, used uh, some scotch tape and I taped the little pieces on there in the proper position. Well, that's a good way to store your stencil so that uh, they don't get lost. And you can put them away if you want to do another painting that's got a similar shape. They're reusable. And I'll put those little circles on there when I finish uh, the painting today. So we're going to go in and put it in those shapes there for the uh, pepperonis. I'm going to pick an area here with a circular shape and I'm going to put the stencil over top of the section I want. Relocate it. Then I'll use another piece of uh, watercolor paper to cover up uh, some of the other sections so they won't get uh, paint on them. And just a precaution. So the only place I got open now is the open stencils at one circular spot. Now I'll pick up some pyro red in a dot spray bottle and I'm going to spray that on that particular shape that I just cut out. And I'll lift the paper and take a look at what I have. Oh, pretty good. I like that. Okay, moving on to another section. Uh, do the same operation. Uh, put the stencil in a location where I want to put it. Take the red uh, paint in a dot spray bottle. Squirt it in. We'll take a look at it. There it is. That worked out. And then I continue on putting more spa uh, putting more shapes for the pepperoni uh, pieces on the pizza. Locating the, locating the stencil where I want it and then squirting the paint on, into that section. And I continue on and see, see the results there. Then uh, I went ahead 
continuing on and putting in more shapes around the whole pizza there. You can see what I finished up there with the pepperoni. Now I'll mix up some darker colors here. I've got uh, royal blue mixed in with a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. And then I pick up a little bit of uh, conocodone violet. Give me a nice dark color. And here I'm going to paint in the actual slices uh, where the where the cuts are, and taking a round brush with a with a sharp point. I'm going to go ahead and mark out those those slices on the pizza pie. Here I'm marking out a straight line, a broken edge, broken line to show the, uh, the actual cut. I'm taking my time. Load the brush again off the side, point the edge. And draw on the other side of the piece. So this simulates the uh, slicing of the pizza pie into the individual pieces. Yeah, take a look at that. Yeah, it might be a little bit dark, so I'm going to uh, take a tissue and lift up some of that color. So you just put the tissue, just lay it down gently over the section of the wet paint. Just lightly touch and it'll pick up some of that XX paint. It'll lighten up that color just a little bit. Now load the brush and continue continue cutting up the slices a little bit, get a little more definition on the pizza pie. I'm showing you this to show you a little bit of ideas of uh, the type of techniques. Um, this is the only part of, part of the brushwork I've used is uh, just putting a little bit of touch here. And then I finished off the rest of the slicing and now I'm going to put in the darker one here for the, the slice that's uh, being pulled out. So this will be a little bit darker, a little bit wider to indicate the individual slice that's separated from the other part of the pizza pie. So a little bit a little bit darker, a little bit darker here, a little bit wider to show the separation. Using the same color I did before. The royal blue and the burnt sienna mixed in with a little bit of cornacodone violet. This just gives a little more definition to the, the pizza slice from the rest of the pizza pie. You know, final, the final step is going to be to put in the dark background. Uh, the pizza, the, the picture I have uh, there has got a dark background. So how do I do that? Well, the first step I'm going to do is get my stencil. But first of all, put down a, 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 a terry cloth towel because I'm going to use a spray bottle. And I'll get out my stencil and cover up the painted section. There's the part, the major part of the pie, and then cover the crust. So now all the all the painted sections are covered with the stencil. Now just carefully lying it in there to make sure I got it covered. That's the that's the advantage of a stencil. You can use the stencil to cover up the sections you want to protect for 
the splattering of paint or whatever, which is I'm going to use a dot spray bottle or I'll use a spray bottle to cover the background. So double checking, make sure it's in place. Looks good. I'm going to use the fine mist sprayer mixed with my darkest mix, which is royal blue, my darkest blue color. And the fine mist sprayer will do a nice job for a background. And I'm going to hold it off at an angle and I'm going to spray along the edge. I'm really trying to shoot uh, the spray from the inside out. Try not to get any paint underneath the stencil. But the stencil does a good job of protecting the, uh, the color. So I'm not too worried about that. So I'm, praying, I'm spraying from the inside out. Now go around for a second pass, get a little darker. The more times you, the more layers you put on, the darker it gets, the darker mix. Okay, now I'm going to take a brush. Because that paint is still wet on there, I can take a brush now. I'm going to move that paint around a little bit to uh, spread the paint out. So the spray bottle gave me a nice uh, supply of paint. Now I can use a brush stroke to move that around. So this is really the only brushwork I've used on the whole painting. That plus the, the slices that were cut. Now I'm going to do one more spray with the fine mist sprayer to complete the background color and to even out the, even out the background paint. So putting a nice big background or uh, adding a color to a painting it's very easy with a fine mist sprayer. And that's a completed project of uh, the pizza pie using spray bottles. I used about 95% using spray bottles and just a little bit there with a the brushwork on the slices and of course a little bit of brushwork on the background. But it turned out real nice. I like, it. I like the way it turned out. There's a close up of the final product. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. It helps with my rating. Select the bell so you can be notified of my next video. Sign up on my Facebook page, Fun with Watercolors, and share your results with others. I'll see you on the next video.